Hey folks, Dr. Sean Baker here. Let's talk a little bit about depression and what impact nutrition may have on depression. Well, depression as defined by the National Institute of Mental Health is a period of two or more weeks where someone feels depressed or loses interest in daily activities. Uh, these depressive episodes may come with other symptoms such as loss of sleep, poor eating habits, uh, decreased energy, and low self-worth. According to a survey conducted in 2020, by the National Institute of Mental Health, around 14.8 million U.S. adults over 18 had at least one major depressive episode within the year. That's quite a bit. Today we'll be looking at five nutrients when eaten in ample amounts may help prevent or reverse symptoms of depression. Just stick around to the end and I'll give you my thoughts on what all this might mean. So nutrient number one, vitamin B12. There are numerous studies now that have shown that vitamin B12 deficiency is connected with depression and other mental health disorders. This is likely because B12 is critical for multiple neural and cognitive functions. A vitamin B12 deficiency can result in an increased level of homocysteine, and the increase in homocysteine can damage the mitochondria and increases oxidative stress in the body. The damaged cells can lead to cell atrophy, cell death, and overall decrease in neurotransmitter signaling. On the back end of this damage, depression can arise. Okay, thankfully you can prevent this by eating enough B12 rich foods that contain uh, plenty of it, things like beef, bison, elk, venison, mussels, clams, and oysters. Okay, second nutrient is zinc. Zinc is a vital mineral that according to research plays an essential role in preventing depression. It's because of zinc. One of zinc's 300 plus roles in the body is to maintain uh, the systems of your brain and neurons. Well, on paper, some plants seem to contain zinc. These plants often contain anti-nutrients that not only block the absorption of the zinc, but can also leach zinc out from the rest of the foods in your meal. One study reinforced this notion was looking at how much zinc was absorbed from oysters when either eating either alone or with corn tortillas and black beans, both of which are filled with phytates and other anti-nutrients. The study showed that the amount of zinc absorbed from oysters is significantly lower when eaten with corn tortillas and black beans compared to eating oysters alone. This is because, again, some of the plant foods like corns and beans contain these phytates, which will bind the zinc and inhibit their uh, inhibit digestive enzymes from being able to do what they need to do to absorb the zinc. Now, this is a problem for those looking to prevent uh, depression. Research shows that zinc can play a crucial role in decreasing the severity of, and in some cases, reversing depression. Now, some good bioavailable sources of zinc include, not surprisingly, things like beef, <laughs> lobster, crab, and lamb. Okay, another nutrient, creatine. Now, creatine is a protein found predominantly in meat. Research shows that creatine consumption can be used to treat, prevent, and possibly reverse depression. Most individuals can consume enough creatine by eating, once again, beef, bison, venison, lamb, chicken, and fish. Now, nutrient number four is carnitine. Carnitine is another amino acid found predominantly in meat. A 2018 study found that those with low levels of carnitine had significantly higher chances of having major depressive episodes. Again, some of the main sources of carnitine include beef, bison, venison, elk, poultry, and other meat-based foods. Seeing a little pattern here. Okay, number five, omega-3 fats, including things like DHA and EPA. Now, there are two main, main omega-3 fatty acids found in meat, both DHA and EPA. These two fatty acids play crucial roles in brain function and lowering inflammation. In fact, about 8% of our brain is actually made up of DHA. And research clearly shows that having enough of these meat-based omega-3 fatty acids can lower your chances of depression and improve your mood and mental well-being. While you can find these omega-3s in any fatty meat, they're found in ample amounts, primarily in wild-caught salmon, mackerels, sardines, anchovies, and other fatty fish. Okay, so bonus, while there are, uh, you know, the above nutrients have been proven positive effects on depression, there could be other nutrients, proteins, or qualities of meat that contribute to better mental health. In fact, a recent overview of the literature correlated over 15 nutrient deficiencies with depression. Fortunately, all of them can be found in meat. Low meat intake has been linked to an increased risk of depression, anxiety, and even pneumonia. A recent meta-analysis looking at 171,802 participants between the ages of 11 and 105 years old, researchers found that the more meat the participants ate, participants ate the lower their chances of depression were. Vegans and vegetarians, on the other hand, had a higher chance of depression in comparison with their meat-eating counterparts. Another study looked at the prevalence of depression among non-vegetarians, semi-vegetarians, and full vegetarians. And what they found was that the less meat the individuals ate, the more likely 
they were to have depressive episodes. Non-vegetarian meat eaters had the lowest chance of having depressive episodes. These studies further reinforce that there's something specific in meat that supports the body's mental health. And so what I would say is it is an absolute major problem as we try to push for less meat in the diet. We already have a tremendous mental health burden in this country and throughout the world. Uh, and to continue to move, remove meat from the diet will only exacerbate that problem. And when we have unhealthy individuals, either personally, within your family, it's stressful, but even the, the impacts that it has on society is significant. So please, whatever you do, start including more meat in your diet. Think about the nu nutrients that are in there. If you know someone that's struggling with these, encourage them to improve their, their quality of, of, of diet. It's gonna help them for sure. We'll talk to you guys soon. If you guys like this, please subscribe, like, hit the notification bell and we'll see you in the in the real near future. Bye bye guys.